Hello, welcome to a decoding session for the master lock speed dial. Um, today I'll be attempting to decode these two locks. Um, each has been set to a four move combo that I don't know. I'll be decoding them in the hand using no tools and no computer visualizer, pen and papers for writing down the combo that I discover, if indeed I discover it. This is a pretty improvised setup, so you'll probably hear the dog in the background, you'll probably hear all manner of noise, um, and I apologize for the audio quality. As we go, I'll be attempting to narrate the process of uh, discovering this first lock a little bit more according to the posts that I just made at Lockpicking 101. Um, on the second lock, I may note key points, but probably will not be explaining what I'm doing pretty much at all. So, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Going to find the first binding disk and checking that is indeed the top disk. All right, so now we're LRU stepping to find the position of the gate on the top disk. Looks like Three moves right puts that top gate uh, puts that top disc in the true gate position. Yep, having to be a little careful because the shackle is sticking here. All right, so after we've got this in the true gate position, we're going to be going through the dragging process. This is something that blank registration discovered. That one binds. You'll notice I'm resetting each time I drag because dragging is um, kind of stressful on the lock and so I want to make sure that I'm starting from where I'm theoretically supposed to be starting from instead of just thinking that everything is where it should be. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That has a pretty good click to it, but there was one more that had that. think think this is going to be the winner so one two three right one two three four five down um, on the next move we get a click so the next part of this is that I need to individually advance each one of these discs while leaving the others in position and then try the down move again um, to see when we uh, advance the disc that actually has the gate that we're feeling, we will no longer get a click on that downstroke, or it will at the very least feel different. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna start with advancing, um, advancing this disc. And the way that we do that is we move opposite, one, two, three, four, five, and then we go down to sync. And then because we touch this top disc, we need to make sure that we do a right move to put it back into position. And then one, two, three, four, five down to put everything back in place. So we're now the next um, dragging down move should give us a click unless the true gate we've been feeling is on this disc. So I don't really feel that same click in, so it is probably on this disc, but we'll try with these individually. And advancing this one. Yep, that is definitely that click. So gate we're feeling is not on this, uh, not on this disc. And you'll notice on this one, I don't have to because when we originally move uh, 
opposite we're doing a right move so after doing five right and down I don't need to do anything else and we're ready to drag again oh well dang okay um, we got an open however uh, you'll notice this is not in the center position so I'm going to attempt to uh, continue the decoding process looks like four and a half minutes ish um, for just getting an open but what we do know is the gate we're feeling is on this disk. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, drag, we get a gate on this disk. So we're going to attempt to overshoot it, one, two, three, and then if we went six down in this position, it's the same as going one down. Um, and we're going to attempt partial moves backward to see how far that we overshot the gate on this disk by going completely down. So we get a partial move there with nothing. And so in this, if we're walking a thing backwards, um, the appropriate directions are uh, up, right, left to move partial moves backwards. So relatively speaking, we went up here. Um, and so next we're going to be going right. Um, and this is still not interfering with the one gate that uh, we have set up here. So on that, I felt the shackle give. So what this tells me is when we go one, two, three, one down, we need to move, we need to find the position this is in and then move two positions back is the true gate for that. So um, when we go one, two, three down, that puts this in one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, according to MH's notation. Um, and then moving down puts that in four, negative one. And if we back two positions off that, we go from four negative one to three plus one to uh, three zero. So in fact, when we go one, two, three zero, this is in position um, as well as this is in position. So now we can continue um, decoding uh, these two disks. So we go one, two, three. First thing I'm gonna try is coming back this direction to try a partial move on this gate to see if uh, this or partial move on this disc to see if this disc is under tension or if it's this disc. Okay, that's under decent tension. One, two, three. Let's try moving on this disc, um, which will be relatively speaking uh, a left move, which um, should not disturb any of these other two wheels. So we're definitely binding very heavily on this disc. Um, so what we're gonna try is stepping this one around. Um, and the way that we do that is after going three, basically we just move in this direction and then one, two, three, four, five, back to resync. Oops, and there's an open again at seven minutes, 40 seconds, um, but we still do not have uh, what we can probably actually do though at this point is that was a very smooth opening so that would tell me that um, one, two, three, uh, that these are all in position, uh, that these disks are all in their true gate position and in fact it's this one, two, three, that is this, that is one, one, two, three, four, five, was it first round? Yes, it was the first round. So it tells me that this is almost in position, but these three uh, gates are in position. So what we should be able to get is one, two, three, and then either that move is the one that opens. Um, and that's basically just because from the starting position, we had advanced um, this one full position by going left uh, and then resyncing. So uh, all of this said, it's basically one, two, three, up, one, two, three, four, five is a working combination. So eight minutes, 50 seconds, nine minutes-ish. So let's write this down. We have number one, oops, was right three times. And then uh, 
then I believe it was up, and then right five times. Um, and an interesting thing about this is because this is essentially walking things around, we could try variations on this. Um, we could try variations on this to see if that's the four move combo, which typically we cannot generically find. But if we go one, two, three, up, we know that's not it. But what if we try it right, up, right, right? That is in fact four move combo, where it is very close. So this ends up being equivalent to right, up, right, right. Yep, um, I'm gonna take a quick break and then we will tackle um, this second. So I was not able to decode the second lock over the course of about half an hour, which is very humbling, but I don't want to make you watch that. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.